Okay, so this is just going to be a quick video showing two different methods of calculating density altitude. One is going to be using our CRP5 and the other will be a formula. If we just dive straight in with an example. So we're given a pressure altitude of 5,000 feet, a temperature of minus 10 degrees, which is ISA minus 15. So remembering that in the International Standard Atmosphere at 5,000 feet, we would expect the temperature to be plus 5 degrees Celsius, but we're given minus 10, so that's where the ISA minus 15 comes from. And um, we're asked to calculate uh, density altitude. So our first method is going to be to use our CRP5. And the two windows we're interested in are the airspeed window and our density altitude window. On our airspeed window, we can plot our pressure altitude on the inner scale and the temperature on the outside scale, making sure to note that the temperatures are negative to the right hand side and positive to the right. So if we go back to our example, we want to plot minus 10 degrees against 5,000 feet. So if we get minus 10 degrees in the outside scale, which is here, and we want to line that up with 5,000 feet, just like that. And we want to flip our CRP5 over now and go to our density altitude window and we're going to read off what the arrow is pointing at. Now it is sometimes difficult to read, out, read it off as the scale is uh, extremely small so it is hard to get accurate answers but for exam purposes it's usually close enough to be able to select the correct answer. So we just look at this it's not three slightly past 3,000, but it's not quite 3,500. Um, I'd say a good guess on that would be 3,200 feet. So our density altitude we're going to note as 3,200 feet. Now the second method of working this out is to use a formula. And this formula is density altitude is equal to our pressure altitude plus 120 times or ISA deviation. So if we just go ahead and use the same example, we can start filling out uh, this formula. So we have a pressure altitude of 5,000 feet, and we're going to add on 120 times our ISA deviation of minus 15, which we set up here. So 5,000 plus 120 times minus 15 is going to give us minus 1800 and we add that out our density altitude is going to equal 3200 feet so both answers are matching and it's completely your preference as to which method you use in an exam situation and um, whichever one you feel most comfortable with but i hope this video has helped to clarify both methods